Woods grew up a Buddhist, and he was raised practicing the religion. His mother practiced Thai Buddhism, and he often attended temple with her. He said his mother taught him the religion from a young age. Woods didn't discuss his religion much during his professional career until his cheating scandal erupted. According to Forbes magazine, the golfer became the world's first billion-dollar athlete in 2009. He automatically became the second richest African-American just behind Oprah Winfrey in the United States. While he's not seen as the best golfer again, Tiger Woods stands as the highest paid till this day. Along with his charisma, influence, and impeccable talent, he still stands as one of the best golfers of all time. Have you noticed this attire is his favorite during his finals? And he eventually wins? Well, Woods has always been famous for wearing red on the last day of tournaments. And whenever he wore red, he had a lot of winning streaks. Thus, that made him consistently put on red on finals. Coincidentally, his mum has always believed that red was his power color and that it brought him good fortune. Do you know who his best friend was? Well, it was his father. He had a close relationship with his father. Some say that was the reason his career started to spiral downwards after the death of his father, prostate cancer, who was also his best friend. But he's recovered from the pain. His name Tiger was given to him to honor a close friend of his father. Earl Woods had a friend while in the military that they went on the same mission together. Upon his death, Tiger's father, Earl Woods, decided to name his son after his friend's nickname. But I find this weird though. Is that why he has so much attention fixated towards him in the golf industry? Who knows? Also, Tiger Woods has always loved golf since he was an infant. Young Tiger Woods then played with his father until he couldn't defeat his father again. Earl Woods then said that was the first of the last from him, and since then, he has never been available to lose again. During the major scandal in his life, it was stated that his affair was devastating to investors. Some reports said the news of his affairs caused them about $5 and $12 billion. Not millions but billions. Oh my. Tiger Woods would have to be careful about the news released about him before he crashes another stock on the market. Early in his career, his eyesight was about 11 out of 15. This prompted him to take a laser eye surgery in 1999, which turned his eyesight into something supernormal. His vision turned from 11 to 20 out of 15. After this major surgery, he won the events that followed the surgery. Well, does this mean anyone can get laser eye surgery and suddenly have a laser eye for golf? Even with what happened in Tiger Woods' career, that didn't stop him from having a good time to reflect and meditate. He bought a boat and named it, Privacy. It's obvious he needed some solitary confinement, and he wasn't ashamed to tell the world he loves his privacy and alone time to recuperate and come back more focused and determined. Most people don't know about this, but Tiger Woods has a close connection with his caddies. He normally doesn't deal with caddies that don't understand his personality and values. Like one of them, Mike Cowan, an 18-year veteran of the PGA Tour who was his first caddy, then followed by Steve Williams, he all made sure they understood him for who he was and his core values. Surprisingly, Tiger Woods studied economics at the university. 
He got the name Urkel due to his attention to detail and love for reading. You don't get Urkel unless you're some smart kid coming from ancient Rome. But no one knows if he accepted the name. I think the name was a compliment to his wits, and he loved it. One may expect a super successful athlete like Tiger Woods to be on a special diet, well you're in for a shocker because he celebrates with Big Macs and cheeseburgers. Yes, no jokes. That's what he did after winning his first Masters tournament in 1999, he ate 9 cheeseburgers. He even stated that McDonald's and Taco Bell are his favorite foods. Though Tiger Woods' mother is Thai and he also claims to be Thai, Tiger refused the offer handed over to him to gain Thai citizenship during a tournament in Thailand. Or, Thailand, so sorry. That would have been hard for Thailand officials as he declined their offer. Besides, Tiger wouldn't have been one Thailand devotee, his appetite for the McDonald's and cheeseburgers wouldn't have fit into their traditional diet. Putting into perspective how the Tiger Woods' brand has been a huge success, what came next shouldn't be much of a surprise. Nike honored him by dedicating a whole building at their headquarters in Beaverton, Oregon. But let's look at it from another angle, for Nike to do that, you know he had made a shit ton of money for the mega company. They also named an entire line of golfing video games the Tiger Woods Pro Tour series after his name. Did you know he was a frequent columnist from 1997 to 2011 for Golf Digest magazine, which he wrote about his tactics. He poured out his techniques on the column. It's enough to inspire a dedicated soul who's aspiring to be a golfer like him. It's like getting practical tips on how to run fast from Usain Bolt himself. Golf is not just his passion, but it runs in his family. His father was also a passionate sports lover. Even Tiger's niece Cheyenne Wood is already in the works of becoming an LPGA winner. She already plays professionally. Let's not forget his mom, who was his first fan. She watched him play in his infant stage. Even though a lot of people see him as the best golfer of all time, in reality, he is still second when checking the record of golf. Currently, he still sits at 14 career wins, which is a little far from Jack Nicklaus' record of 18 career victories. So he believes there's still time and he's working harder to surpass Jack's record. <laughs>